Good morning to my friends, good morning to my mommy too. I'm gonna have a great day, and I'll start it all with a big smile. Good morning to my friends, good morning to my mommy too. I'm gonna have a great day, and I'll start it all with a hand clap. Good morning to my friends, good morning to my teachers too. I'm gonna have a great day. I'll start it all with a body shake. Good morning to my friends. Good morning to my teachers. I'm gonna have a great day, and I'll start it all with a hooray! Hooray! Good morning, my friends. Oh my goodness, what a great day today is. Are you ready to have some fun? All right, let's get going. Ah, hey, I know. Stand up, uh, stand up real quick, and we'll do uh, we'll do a movement song, something you guys can get into. Okay. In fact, we did this the other day in our Zoom class. Ready? Um, if you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. Did you jump up and down? Yeah, really high, as high as you can. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, run in place. Run as quick as you can, but don't go anywhere. If you're happy and you know it, run in place. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, run in place. If you're happy and you know it, get down on the floor. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, get down on the floor. Now get back up again and down again and down again and down up down up down up down up down up down up down. <laughs> That's a really good workout, actually. Let's try it again. Up and down. Up and down. Oh, I know. If you're happy and you know it, jump like a frog. There you go. That's up and down. If you're happy and you know it, jump like a frog. If you're happy and you know, then your face will surely show. But if you're happy and you know, jump like a frog. If you're happy and you know, it, flap your wings like a chicken. If you're happy and you know, it, flap like a chicken. If you're happy and you know, then your face will surely show. But if you're happy and you know, it, flap like a chicken. That was fun. Hey, that was like exercise. Do you guys exercise? I love to exercise. Whenever I can, I like to ride my bike and big long rides too. Hey, this is our last one, our last flip week for this session. And so this is our last video. Mm. But it's, uh, it's still fun though. No, we're still gonna have uh, our summer camps if you can join. And then next season, Flip will be back, I'm pretty sure. So keep your eyes open. Um, you know, you guys are always welcome at the Playzium to come out as soon as we open back up. You guys can come out and play, and, and you know we miss you. So, so just wanted to let you know, this is my last video for the flip classes, and our last Zoom is over, although this week on Wednesday, when we normally would do our Zoom class, you get to come by and do a splash, splash zone. Well. Miss Stacy is going to let you guys use squirt guns, water balloons, silly string, anything like that to come drive by in your car and spray us. All of the teachers, Miss Dante and Miss Robin and Miss Le Mr. Dante and Miss Leanne, they're all coming and it should be fun. Um, I'm going to wear my swimsuit because, and uh, I hope you guys don't get me too wet, but it should be fun. Um, hey, I had an idea for our journals today. I have my piece of paper and I have three crayons right here. I have a green one, a black one, and a, a yellow one. And I was gonna show you how to draw a landscape, okay? I like to make clouds, okay? So I'll make a cloud. I'm gonna make a one curve like that. See, it looks like a, a kind of an ear or a C. And then on top of it, I'm gonna make another curve, kind of like that, see? And then on that one, I'm gonna make another curve, okay? See, now I got three curves, and then I'm gonna draw a line right there, see? And now I have what looks like a cloud, huh? And if you got a cloud, you know what you need? The yellow crayon, you make another kind of part circle like that, 
and then I color it in. See, and I, I just made kind of a, a yellow blob there. And then if you just put lines on it, the lines going out, I don't know if you can see those there. And the lines going out are like rays of sunlight. And then, okay, so, ooh, I'm, I made a smudge. You see my smudge? It doesn't matter if you make a smudge. That's okay. Okay, now I need my green crayon. Who knows what the green crayon's for? It's down here. I'm going to do it right along there at the bottom of the page. That's right. I'm making grass. See, now I made it just a line. And then I'm just, you can just color it all in like that. And now you have a landscape. See, there's the, the sun and the cloud lets you know where the sky is. And then the green lets you know where the ground is. And now you can draw like a tree here and a dog here and maybe one of those black and white cows over here. Anything is possible. And that's, the, that's Mr. Joe's journal drawing. I want you to try and draw a landscape. Okay. Ah. Oh, so you have, your, you have your flip bag now, right? Okay. Inside your flip bag, there were these guys, toilet paper rolls. And uh, you could you could probably find these in your house too. Uh, and I want to use these today for our activity. So you'll need them. Uh, go get those. And if you want to stop for a minute. Oh, and if you got any yarn or string and tape, that's what we're going to use. Tape, yarn, and string. Okay, so we can stop and go get it. Are you back? I'm back. I'm here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these together. See how they're right next to each other like that? And then I'm gonna put my string. Well, you know what, let's hold off on the string. Right now, let's put these together and then take a piece of tape and you can leave it on the roll. So see how my roll is like this? Okay, and that way you can put it right there. Okay, now I stuck it there and it's just hanging. And so you just make sure these are right together. See how I put them right together like that? And then you can just roll them like that. And now grab your tape and pull it tight. And look, now they're stuck together. And you just tear the tape. So now I have, I have a pair of binoculars. Is anybody out there? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> now the string. Take a small piece of tape, like that. Ah, I dropped it. I'm back. So you take a small piece of string and you put it on your thing and tape it, like that. See, now I have a string. Let me try that again. Tape, 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 tape. There, you gotta push it sometimes and make it rubbed so it sticks. Now I have a string like that, okay? The string there. Now you want to make it about this long, like that. See, now I have this loop, and then you can, if you have extra string like me, I'm just gonna wrap it around there. Now we want to do the big long tape thing again, ready? Okay, now make sure your loop is hanging down so it doesn't get in the way, but stick your tape back to your roll and roll it up again, holding your string out of the way, okay? Like that. Okay, and you can pull it tight, once again, and stink, and put your tape away. Now I want you to just rub it, rub it, rub it like that, rub your tape so it sticks. And now, <gasps> look over there, Captain. I see treasure. Let's go get it. <laughs> we now have binoculars. Okay, that was our activity today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, I do have a book today, uh, and it's not about a butterfly. It's um, about this bug right here. It's called a cricket. The very quiet cricket.
One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, buzzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching his way out of an apple. Oh, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled the spittle bug, slurping out in a sea of froth. Oh, the little cricket wanted to answer, and so he rubbed his wings together and nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched the cicada. Clinging to a branch of a tree, oh, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. And nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? Hummed the bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. And the little cricket wanted to answer, and so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, word of dragonfly gliding above the water. And the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together and nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh, how frustrating. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. And, and the little cricket wanted to answer. And so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened, not a sound. Luna Moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the Luna Moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time. It worked. I hope you've enjoyed this story. Close the book and the cricket will last forever. Bye. That was a good book. The first time I read that book, it almost scared me when that cricket started singing. They have a cricket sound inside the book. That's the coolest thing ever. Ah. All right. So I have a song for you. I just had to fly. You know what I mean. Sometimes it's real hard When you are a sneeze I startled the cat I ruin the cheese I make everyone say Excuse me please But it's not easy To be a sneeze Well come out really fast a cough is slow, not me. A hundred miles an hour. That's my average speed. I startle the cat. I ruin the cheese. 
I make everyone say excuse me please But it's not easy to be a sneeze About underway, you know I go But it's alright, you can catch me in your elbow Well, I just had to fly You know what I mean Sometimes it's real hard When you are a sneeze I startle the cat I ruin the cheese I make everyone say Excuse me please And it's not easy When you are a sneeze I had to push the button that popped up, and it's okay though. We'll leave it there, because uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. So now I need you guys to get out your twinkle twinkle hands. No, not the twinkle twinkle hands. We wanted to do the other one. <gasps> the itsy bitsy hands. Spider hands. Spider hands. You ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. You guys are getting so good at that. Now let's see you remember. The itsy bitsy spider climbed on the rocking chair. Up jumped a cat and knocked her in the air. Down fell the spider, and when the cat fell asleep, back up the rocking chair, the spider sure did creep. That is awesome! The itsy bitsy spider climbed on the yellow pail. Up jumped a mouse and flicked her with his tail. Down fell the spider, and when the mouse ran away, Back up the yellow pail, the spider went to play. You guys, bravo, I'm so proud of you. Look how well you, you're learning that song. Oh, we really gotta get some more verses out, huh? Okay, one last song, just because we're still doing this and I want you guys to, I want you guys to do this. Remember, remember, uh, it's got something to do with your thumb. If you're gonna wash your hands, you've gotta do. That's very good. If you're gonna wash your hands, you've got to use. That's right. So wash your hands, wash between your fingers, wash your hands, wash your. That's right, thumbs too. Wash your hands, wash your tops and bottoms. Wash your hands and when you're through. You dry them on a towel. <laughs> you thought I was going to say like a rhinoceros or a zebra or something, right? No, you, you dry them on your mommy. Oh, is she right there? I'm sorry, mom. Wow. I didn't mean that. Not on your mommy. No, you dry them on a towel. That's right. You need to dry them on a towel, okay? So one more time. If you're gonna wash your hands, you've gotta use. You're gonna wash your hands, you've gotta use. So wash your hands, wash your hands. Oh, we shouldn't do it that fast, huh? Let's do it slower. Wash your hands, wash between your fingers. Wash your hands, wash your thumbs too. <laughs> wash your hands, wash the tops and the bottoms. I always get my wrist. <laughs> Wash your hands and when you're through, dry them on a towel. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Emily. It's time for us to go. Goodbye, Ezra. Goodbye, Ezra. 
Goodbye, Kedra, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, Jolene. Goodbye, Jolene. Goodbye, Jolene, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, again. Goodbye, Lincoln. Goodbye, Lincoln, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye, Eddie, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, Delilah. Goodbye, Delilah. Goodbye, Delilah, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, Dante. Goodbye, Dante. Goodbye, Dante. And I'm sorry if I missed your name, but it's time for us to go. Hope to see you Wednesday. Bye, friends.